I really need to get some new intro music. <laughs> like I can't hear it when it's going, even when I do have it. But every time I go live now, I, I acknowledge that I don't have it. <laughs> and I just sit there like, oh, this is so awkward. There's nothing, there's nothing playing for them right now. So I need to scout out some new music. <laughs> Anyway, hi babe, welcome on in, and yeah, how are we? It's Monday. How are we? It's Monday, yeah, basically that. <laughs> I, yeah, work is like weirdly slow right now because I'm, I'm not between projects, but I'm only just ramping up on a new project, and there's a lot of like onboarding stuff, so it's been really quiet, and it's weird. Um... So I've mostly just been like hanging out with Mickey and it's been great. But yeah. How's God of War? Are you still playing that? Or how's that going? Very Monday, Monday, also weirdly foggy around these parts. It's the snow melted. The snow was an unwelcome surprise. <laughs> um, but it's it's melted now, but it's still cold. So there's still like little bits of like frozen kind of snow um but I, I think we're now at least here in the realm of it staying around this temperature so which the day before it started snowing it was like 70 degrees so <laughs> but that's that's kind of how the weather has historically been around here um at least since I've been alive so um the joke the running joke is if you don't like the weather here just wait five minutes and that is very true um so yeah you know it's weird i'm liking it but it gets very slow at the part i'm at hoping it picks up again soon okay i gotcha i've i've never played a god of war game i think we talked about this but it's yeah it's it's pretty foreign to me except for like the continuous sort of camera view um that those games have. I've only seen, I don't even know who I would have seen play it, to be honest, because I've only seen a little tiny part of the one before the new one. And honestly, I, I don't know if it was someone on YouTube or what, but I didn't, I didn't stick around for very long. So I don't really know who it would have been, but it's, it's, it's probably interesting. <laughs> I assume it's like mostly combat based, but and like probably pretty story heavy if I recall, but it looks beautiful. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Was honestly stunned when I saw that snowy photo. No, nowhere near that over here yet. I'm very jealous. Do you want to trade? <laughs> because I, I had to get my winter coat out. It gets, it's cold. Um, and it's the thing is if we eased into like the thirties, sort of temperature ranges here it wouldn't feel as cold but because we went straight from like 60 and low 70 degree days into 30 degrees there's no like acclimation and so it feels colder than it really is um so yeah <laughs> you know hi red cat welcome on in hope you're doing well hope your monday's treating you okay um but yeah so i don't think it's supposed to snow again until maybe later this week. And if it is, I'm not sure it's supposed to be very much. Um, but like, I stayed in most of the day on Saturday um, because I had like, like it was a really bad brain day for me. Um, one of the worst in a while actually. But also I just, I didn't want to drive while it was snowing that much. Um, less because it seemed like dangerous weather, but more because people whether it's like the first nice day in a long time or the first snowy day in a long time, everyone forgets how to drive. <laughs> and it's like, I'm more worried about you than like ice being on the road. So I didn't really go out and really need to. But when I went out to come over here on Sunday, um, there were like two inches of snow on the Jeep. So we got a fair bit of snow. <laughs> I hated it. I didn't like it. 
Everybody disliked that. Yeah, I'm upset Stardance, needless to say. Most of it is melted already, but because it's so cold, like, more shadowed areas still have, like, clumps of icy snow under them. So, I think it's probably going to flurry again later this week, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't be enough to, like, stick. I'll say that and then look it up later and there will be, like, a snowstorm headed our way. <laughs> I don't think there is, though. Not yet. Um, but welcome on in. I hope your Monday is treating you okay. And it's good to see you guys. At some point, I'll, I'll get to a point where I'm disciplined enough to have a schedule again. But I just appreciate that I spontaneously decide to stream and anybody shows up. So thank you. Um, hi, Kevin. Welcome on in. I hope you're well and have a great lurk. Also, whose emote is that? That is super cute. DJ Slushy. Adorable. I don't know if it's supposed to be a Wobbuffet, but it looks like a Wobbuffet. Also, are we excited about Pokemon later this week? Because <laughs> I'm excited about Pokemon later this week. Oh. But yeah, I hope your Monday's straight and you okay and you have a good lurk. Um, I'm very excited for a new Pokemon game. Uh, Charlton. Um, also Charlton FFS on Twitch. Um, go follow her, please. <laughs> um, she's been playing a lot of Arceus and like perfecting Pokedex levels of Arceus. And first of all, it's stunning. She's at like 87%. Could never be me. Um, I'm going to give her a quick shout out actually, because you guys will love her. We rated her fairly recently, but just in case you weren't here for that, she's excellent. Um, so why is it giving me that option? I already follow her. <laughs> um, OBS always shows the shout out for me. Oh, there's a timer on it now. Do you guys see a timer on the shout out if it showed up for you? Because that never used to come up for me. And I'm really excited they have a timer on those now because I never know when to send the next one. Um, I think it's supposed to be a slushy drink. Oh, I see that now. That's so cute. I love that. Also a big fan of slushies. Um, so I hopped back into Arceus and reinstalled it like yesterday and got back into it and it was really nice. Um, so that's tiding me over right now, but I am very excited to like just start fresh on Friday. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, are you going Scarlet or Violet? I have Violet pre-ordered and pre-installed, so it's all ready to go and I think yeah I, I Slate and I talked about it obviously still no pressure to like hop on the Pokemon bandwagon babe but we talked about it and like we were gonna each get one of the different versions and like I don't know about your relationship goals but like that's relationship goals get you <laughs> Get you somebody lovely who will get the other Pokemon game. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to play that with you. Um, but yeah, I threw my friend code in. Actually, I just shared it again in the Discord. So um, I am I am so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Um, same nice and presume Grass Cat. You presume correctly. <laughs> I gen. We were talking about this the other day, actually. I generally pick grass as my starter. Um, the only um, the only time that's not been true in like the past few iterations was for Arceus, and it's because I knew I wanted Cyndaquil, so that was a little different. But I did Grookey for um, Sword and Shield. I had Shield, but you know, um, and then. God, prior to that, I think it would have been like Ruby and Sapphire because I took a really long break from Pokemon games. Um, and I think as long as I'm remembering right, um, I think I picked Trico. I, I, I don't think I'm misremembering the starters. <laughs> oh, that's Brigadito emote is so cute. I might need to upload the one that I made a long time ago for our channel for this week. Maybe I should do that. 
because I, I made starter emotes and I'm I was like really proud of them but it was a long time ago because it was when it was like first announced um maybe we'll do that for funsies <laughs> um but yeah I also keep singing Sprigatito to the tune of Despacito. So on that note, let's see some patience. Yeah, starter emotes. I Let me grab my link really quick. Um, but I was like really proud of them. Can I find them on my Twitter actually? That might be better. That might be better. I have to have like shared them pretty recently, so yeah. Um, is there a way that I can? Hang on, I had this for a second. Maybe. There we go. So these are the emotes that I drew but it was like a long time ago. Um, so I might, I might replace a few of ours just with these for maybe the next couple of weeks. Cause like, I, I feel really good about how these turned out. I think they're cute. <laughs> so anyway, might do that. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, we are going to pick the infectious madness of Dr. Decker back up. Babies indeed. Babies indeed. Thank you. Um, so I noticed two things on my um, on my achievements for this game. I noticed that I got an achievement for a thousand questions asked, which is a little bit alarming. Um, and then, but I also noticed an achievement for 50 insanity points reached, which is concerning. I'm just going to say that. Um, and I don't know if I can avoid that. Like I'm trying to play it so I don't get played. Right. Um, and I don't know how well you can do that because we've, we've been kind of hallucinating in this in this story like we've we saw the flame we saw like elon's face change a little bit and i don't know how much of that can like not happen i guess and affect us so i'll be interested to look all that up after we're done with our playthrough but anyway our overall progress is 63 percent, so we're over halfway which is pretty cool i know right i, I want to know what that means <laughs> i'm concerned <laughs> Um, and right now we have the level of practitioner, which is pretty good. And then it says, doctor, you're doing great. That's a lot of questions. You're understanding them. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're going to take that for what it is. Midnight each day. On Valentine's night, time as you know it, freezes. 20 minutes past I love 10. these. Keep this is so her. helpful. I'm going to smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And no, Laurie just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David Hunt. I can change my skin. Then skin. Doctor oh, that's interesting. Gave me his patience. I had a hot so it gave us the one for Act 2 and now I this is the one for Act 3. I was like, I've seen this already. Did I lose my progress? Ask me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding... Unless it's giving me, like, all of them, which it might be. I haven't been back to the beach since... A bit of a it might be giving me all of them. Find something. I set fire. Beautiful. To the rain. To Hannah's crows in the garden. Oh. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker cursed me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. It's gonna do another one. Okay, so... It didn't show... Weirdly enough, it didn't show what happened right here, but I, I switched the chapter right before I logged off of this game after stream. And she was like, our vision was all weird. And she was talking to us like we were tied up or something. 
So there's something happening in the inner rim here between sessions, and we're going to try and, I guess, figure that out. Um, Give me your answer. To what? <laughs> oh no, I need to know what happened. <laughs> oh my god. How do I... Oh, don't leave. Oh, please don't make me watch this all over. No! Okay. My answer? Answer me. I would love to, man. Uh... I wish I could remember what she said. I'm gonna see if I can just like Google this part really quickly because I don't want to tell her the wrong thing um, and like ruin my streak. Uh, Dr. Decker, Shia scene. Just a second. I'm really trying to find this quickly, guys. Okay, so, okay, so in, in the little cutscene before um, this, she asked me if this was a dream. Um, which I assume it is. That's a good doctor. Okay, yes. so now it's we can. It's all a big dream. So let's get down to business. Which makes me Do think it's not a dream. That people can have kinetic powers. Um. Hmm. Have we seen proof? Oh, interesting star danced. Hmm. <laughs> also, aw. Oh, let's see. I'm trying, I'm thinking back through everybody. And really, I don't think we've had solid proof yet that any of them actually have powers. So I'm going to say no. I think you like it when I hurt you. That scared me so much. Oh my god. People obviously have kinetic powers. Nah. -uh. That's how I'm here testing you. Now. What? How do we treat that scared me so much. Do we encourage them or do we discourage them? <laughs> it scared me so bad. We discourage them. Very good, Doctor. That's the right answer. Remember it. What the fuck, Jaya? Now, since I'm here, let's have a little bit of fun. Shall we? Ma'am, <laughs> are you going to take my nose hairs? What are you doing? <laughs> what? What the... Child, what the fuck? Get me out of here. In my hour. I've got to oh my it. god. Remove the chains. Dress them. <laughs> I it. We could try shifting that. Would you like to see David, Doctor? Oh, you are supposed to be my friend. We both read the Cult of the Kinetic Mind. <laughs> she took every single one of my nose hairs, friend. 
declaring me insane or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. He may just still pull out in front of the driver. Well, that's not the right reaction. Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Good song. Morning, Doctor. Hey. Looking a bit unwell. <laughs> Bald in the nose? Yeah. Up. Imagine. Have a look at this. I found it in Dropbox. Apparently, Dr. Decker lent Mariana some money. Sounds dodgy, doesn't it? I also got the toxicology report back from Officer Yates. And shocker, Dr. Decker had... Sorry. You just have to read it. I should have spoiler alert tattooed on my forehead. And can we not do the grief counseling thing today? I'm all sorts of behind on work and I'm uh -huh. getting more stressed out watching it all pile up. Uh -huh. If you need anything though, I'm here. I need you to not be in my dreams attacking me with pliers. Thanks, bye. <laughs> What dream was that? Jaya thinks I should tell all the patients I can stop their problems. Perhaps I should avoid her until later. I mean, fair enough. But also, Jaya, what the fuck? Tell me what's going on. Alright, let's look at our evidence really fast. Um, toxicology report. By J.M. Clausen. Still no first name. Uh, ethanol positive. So that's alcohol. And then... Yeah, okay, so we had... Is it benzodiazepines, I think? So the sleeping pill that basically everybody was taking. Um, he was positive for. And then the loan agreement... For 15,000 pounds. Okay, for 36 months. By signing this agreement, the borrower agrees to accept the sum of the loan amount and to repay the loan amount in full within the terms stated. So three years. The sum of the loan will be transferred by the lender into an account designated by the borrower within 14 days of signing the agreement. It is agreed that the loan shall attract no interest, and in lieu of accruing interest, the lender has agreed to the payment of the arrangement fee, which is due before the transfer of the loan amount. Um, the lender also agrees to consider the loan repaid in full should they die or become subject to any power of attorney agreement as long as this event occurs within the term of agreement. Okay. Hi, did you, did you kill someone? <laughs> you little plunkin? right let's talk to mariana first i'm gonna leave jaya for last as well um hello i feel thirsty doctor do you and hot do you have any water I've been drinking a lot of water recently. I didn't go to the beach. I didn't go to the sea. I said I would, but I didn't. I've been feeling this way for a while. It's like it's getting worse because I didn't go to the sea. It's like I'm having... I know nothing. No? Ask me something else. No. No. Um, right. I need to get back in the swing of this. I've been drinking a lot of water recently. I didn't go to the beach. I didn't go to the sea. I said I would, but I didn't. I've been feeling this way for a while. It's like it's getting worse because I didn't go to the sea. It's like I'm having... Okay. Don't know. Okay, great. 
I don't feel well. I feel sick most of the time, dizzy, thirsty. I got a head fog like you wouldn't believe. I think you're dehydrated. My doctor, Dr. Rose sent me for blood tests. Dr. Rose thinks maybe I have a vitamin deficiency. I can tell she has no idea. She smiles, but she hasn't got any answers. I think I probably need to go back to the beach. See, doctor. <laughs> it's calling me. So, <laughs> I mentioned before that, um, the way that I was introduced to this game was that uh, Slate and I actually watched a playthrough of it. Um, on It was a much more like surface level playthrough than what we're doing, I think, because I'm going all in for better or for worse. Um, but just to give you an idea of what an insufferable partner I am, or just person to be around, to be honest, when she said that in the playthrough, <laughs> We were on a Discord call, and she was like, my doctor thinks I have a vitamin deficiency. And I literally looked at, like, the comment. I was like, babe, babe, babe. And I said that until, <laughs> until he looked at me. And I didn't say anything else until he looked at me on the call. And I just... <laughs> I just dead ass looked into the webcam. I was like, she's deficient in vitamin C. <laughs> I need you to understand that that's what I'm like. <laughs> if you don't already understand that. <laughs> I guess it's still fucking funny to me. <laughs> but just dead ass office gymmed into the webcam. <laughs> like, you need to listen to me right now. Uh I was very upset. <laughs> anyway, I was more upset with myself than anything. Thank God he laughed. <laughs> like, that would have been the worst. Oh. Dr. Rose thinks maybe I have a vitamin deficiency. I can tell she has no idea. She smiles, but she hasn't got any answer. She literally has the answer. I think I probably need to go back to the beach. Doctor. Yeah. It's calling me. Uh huh. <laughs> A vitamin C deficiency. No. No. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Um. <laughs> she, she doesn't think I'm very funny. <laughs> is calling you this sounds crazy but I can hear it see just gonna eat it's your like message start an alarm going off in my oh. head <laughs> do you know where the C is there we go From here it's over there wherever I am I know exactly where the C is it's like a compass I know where the sea is, wherever I am. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. Maybe this is a water bearer thing. Is it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, all right. This sounds crazy, but I can hear the sea. It's like an, al an alarm. It's like an alarm. I hear a sound like singing, calling me. It gets stronger when I face Are it. Are you sure, Stardance? That's how I know where the sea is. Because that's wild if that's sea, the case. It sound, but it's louder all the time. <laughs> I'm having trouble sleeping. Perhaps I need sleeping tablets after all. What's Tomazepam? Why are you asking? I, I I didn't specifically. I don't take sleeping pills. 
It's never happened. When you suffer blackouts already, you don't really get offered anything like that. Mm hmm Makes sense. I like her rings. Um... Did Dr. Decker loan you money? He lent me some money to start my business. It was a proper agreement. I remember signing things. He thought that a distraction would do me good. I don't think he expected me to trawl the beach for treasure and sell it online. Okay, a distraction. Dr. Decker thought I had too much time on my hands, so a distraction would do me good. He lent me 15,000, all in all. <laughs> um, a proper agreement? Nope. You said it was, I know, I'm sorry. Um, okay, what, what did my notes want? Dr. Decker's loan, I should take a look at the contract. Yeah, I looked at the contract. Mainly rent. Rent for what? Why are you asking me that? Because you just said it, and that's a lot for rent. What are you renting for your online bracelet making business? Sorry, that was rude. Um. He wanted a clause in our loan agreement that I didn't have to pay him in the event that he died. He wasn't expecting to die, he was just concerned my anxiety would get worse, wondering what it would mean if he did. Yeah, I'm anxious about being ill. Okay. Interesting. He lent me some money to start my business. Uh huh. It was a proper agreement. I remember signing things. He thought that a distraction would do me good. I don't think he expected me to trawl the beach for treasure and sell it online. Okay. Trawl the beach for treasure and sell it online. One question at a time, please. Okay. I'm sure you've asked me this before. I haven't. Um. Did I ask her why she hasn't gone back? No. Why didn't you go back to the beach? I have this recurring dream. I'm at the beach. Mm -hmm. I strip and walk into the sea. The sea feels warm and comforting. It's not cold and harsh like you'd think. I swim down to the bottom of the ocean. I can breathe freely. I can breathe water. On the ocean floor ahead of me, there is beautiful creature mm -hmm. a glowing being with wispy limbs so warm and transfixed but my feet shift I'm unsteady below me the floor is woven in human flesh dead bodies but some of them still struggling for life that's all the bar goers. These are the ones touching me. Gripping my feet. They take your shoes. <laughs> Sorry. That's when I wake up. Mm-hmm. 
Do you have that dream doctor? Nope. No, I do not have that dream. It's horrific. Sounds horrific. And beautiful at the same time. <laughs> okay. A creature? It's a dream, Doctor. Stranger things happen in dreams. Yeah, but... Stranger things? Like this show? That doesn't mean anything to Oh! <laughs> you can breathe underwater? That's not something I know anything- Ugh! You can breathe water? Okay. Um... Right. Human bodies? I don't know. So she does- does she like not want to talk about that dream anymore? <sighs> does the recurring dream happen before a blackout? Do you forget anything from our sessions, Doctor? People follow me to the beach. I don't know who they are, and I don't know what happens to them. Uh -huh. I don't always get followed, though, so it doesn't explain my blackouts. Okay. Um, I don't always get followed. You don't always get followed? Okay. Um, let's revisit that. Do you forget anything from our sessions, Doctor? People follow me to the beach. I don't know who they are, and I don't know what happens to them. I don't always get followed, though, so it doesn't explain my blackouts. Um, what do you think happens to them? I said I don't know what happens to them. It's not always to the beach. Sometimes they follow me home. They follow you home? My home is in Chantry. You know that. You rang my doorbell last night. I rang your doorbell last night? If you say so, it must have been your twin then. Okay. That's weird. Did I say anything? I know nothing. That's unhelpful. Um My home is in Chantry. You know that. You rang my doorbell last night. Yeah. I didn't, though. I didn't ring your doorbell last night. Okay, already. If you say so, it must have been your twin, then. I don't have a twin. I don't know if I have a twin. Do you have a twin? Doctor? I literally just said I don't. No, I don't have a twin. I know you don't. It was definitely you wearing what you're wearing now. But, uh, I hate my that I can't keep arguing Chantry. with her. You know that. You rang my doorbell last night. Okay, so am I supposed to ask about, like, Chantry? Don't know. Okay. Um. I didn't come to your home last night. God damn, I don't know what to say to her. Um. I 
That doesn't mean anything to me. Oof. Um. I've never been to your home. What the fuck? Um. What in the world? I'm trying to decide how to ask this. Did I say anything last night? Why are you asking me that? Because I need to know what's going on. <laughs> uh, what did I want? Nope. Okay. Um. Did you answer the door? That's not something I know any- Did you let me in the house? No. Oh my god. Um. gotta be a better way I can ask this. Did you let me in? Ask me something else. I'm trying, lady. I really am. Um. Did you an did I already- I already asked if you answered the door. Um. <sighs> did I come into your house? I don't know. You should. <laughs> oh. That doesn't mean anything. I know. Oh, shit. Just about to go to sleep. I always have to pop my Hi, Eden. Thank you for popping in. I hope you're doing well. Get some good sleep. Get some good rest. All my love to you and Aaron. Hmm. I have this recurring dream. Let's see what we can pull from this, maybe. I'm at the beach. Mm -hmm. I strip and walk into the sea. No, I love you. See? No, you me. <laughs> comforting. Not cold and harsh like you think. I need a new Swim one. down to the bottom of the ocean. Thing here. I can breathe. Freely. I can breathe water. Yeah, I asked her about that. On the ocean floor ahead of me, there is a beautiful creature. A glowing being with, with feelings. So warm. And transfixed. But my feet shift. I'm unsteady. Below me, the floor is woven in human flesh. Okay, so she said human flesh, not bodies. bodies human flesh, dead bodies. Got it. For life. These are the ones touching me. Gripping my feet. Scream. That's when I wake up. You have that dream, Doctor? No, my pants aren't crazy. Um... Okay, so I have several keywords written down. So I'm just gonna go through them. I don't know. Okay, that one's a bottom of the ocean. No. This girl, I swear. Glowing being? Okay, so that counted for the creature, I guess. I know nothing. Clearly. Um. Human flesh? I do nothing. 
people follow okay. me. I don't ask them to. I... It's not what I asked. You kiss them, though. No. Nope. You do. You told me. Dead bodies. Okay. Ripping your feet. Okay. And then... How... How do you feel when you wake up? Don't know. Oh. <laughs> Do you wake up on the beach? Heck. Right. So we got another response at least. Um, are the dead bodies the people who follow you? My home is in Chantry. You I, know that. You I literally didn't. You last night. Did we talk? That's not something I know any- Hey, why I was there? Ask me something- mm. Okay. Um, are you sure it was me? Why are you asking? Because this is a big accusation. <laughs> Give me a hint. I don't care that Dr. Decker was drinking a lot. I care that she thinks I showed up at her house. Ugh. Did Dr. Decker drink? I've seen Points Dr. for alliteration. Decker, but not that much. Certainly not during our sessions. He had other things on his mind. I'm sure. Mm. No. Other things on his mind? Why are you... Uh, all right. Um, there's something that it wants me to ask my from this. Is in Chantry. You know that you rang my doorbell last night. I'm going to just try this one again. Okay, I rang your doorbell last night. Did you answer your door? Ask me something else. Did you let me in your home? <sighs> Did you answer the door? I know nothing. Oh, all right. Okay, I, how many different ways can I ask why was I there? Why was I at your house? I don't know. Fuck's sake. I didn't kiss you, but you just followed me like the others. From where? I don't feel comfortable here, doctor. I'd like to leave. You can leave whenever you want. Followed you from where? Um. I don't know. Okay. I didn't kiss you, but you just followed me <laughs> like the others. I don't feel comfortable here. Don't okay. Don't know. Okay. <laughs> I tried to give her an out. Um. I didn't follow you. Um.
Is there anything that was brought up that I should be telling her about? Okay, um... Heck, okay. So there's nothing else starred here. Right? Yeah, so it's gonna have to be something out of left field for her, I think. So on that, I'm going to talk to everybody else because sometimes snippets pop up with other people that you then have to circle back and talk to them about. So, um, let's talk to Elin next. Hello. Hilda died last night. Oh. On her own, heartbroken because she couldn't see her daughter. I feel terrible. I should never have listened to you. Okay. <laughs> How do you know she was heartbroken? If you weren't there. I just know that's how she'd have been feeling. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Hilda died last night. On her own heartbroken because she couldn't see her daughter. I feel terrible. I should never have listened to you. Why did you listen to me? Mm, let me think. No. <laughs> uh, you should have never listened to me? In our last session. You said that shifting was wrong. Yeah. That I shouldn't shift for Hilda. Yeah. I should let her die without seeing her daughter. That's not what I said. I'm such an idiot. I have this amazing gift and I didn't use it. Doctor, I'm not sure I should be answering questions like that. What? <laughs> like what? I'm making an accusation. Oh. I'm sorry about Hilda. One of the other nurses found her. She went without anyone even noticing. I wasn't there. I phoned in sick. I knew that if I went into work, I'd want to shift. I'm a good person, Doctor. Yeah. I hope so. I'm trying to be. I really am. I know. I think that's true. Um. One of the other nurses found her. Who found her? I don't really know anything about that. Okay. Did Terry find her? <laughs> Terry hasn't been into work for a few days. I hope there's nothing wrong with she her. She did. Jamie, welcome on in. How are you? How was your stream? What were you up to? Welcome on in, friends. If you're new here, my name is Allie. I'm a variety streamer. And we are chilling and playing the Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker, which has been super good so far. We play a lot of indies and stuff here. So definitely hang out if that's your thing. But thank you so much for coming over, Jamie. I hope your stream went really, really well. And thank you for the shout out to Jamie, whoever did that. I appreciate you. <sighs> and if you need to take off after your stream to go rest or eat or anything, just absolutely feel free. Um, I've been loving seeing how into this you are on Twitter. I'm so into this. Like, it's been so fun. And I'm excited to play other games like it. 
much. I hope there are other games like it. I know there are other FMVs because I have them. I just don't know if they play the same way. It's been so good though. Um, like this deduction kind of thing. This is my shit. Like I'm very excited to have started playing this. We were doing some DVD and COD. It was all good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm very glad to hear it. I'm here for the couch. It's a good couch. Hi, Chris. Welcome on in and happy birthday. You old fart. <laughs> Welcome on in. Um, but yeah, it's very good to see you guys. Thanks for stopping in. And yeah, we're just, we're trying to get to the bottom of this mystery. <laughs> of course. Of course. I hope you had a really good one. I hope you had a really, really good one. I'm going to do that raid and run thing and try and force a sleep schedule, but have a lovely time. I will. And you get some rest, full support on having a consistent sleep schedule. Thank you again for the raid. And I, yeah, talk to you soon. Take care. All right. Let's see. So we have a couple green asterisks. We don't have any orange ones right now. So we have some optional things that we can ask from the questions we've been asking. <laughs> In see, our last session. See what she's mad you about said over here. That shifting was wrong. That I shouldn't shift for Hilda. That I should let her die without seeing her daughter. I'm such an idiot. I have this amazing gift and I didn't use it. I have two thoughts of what we can say to her here. We can either say, you're not an idiot. What's the point of me having this amazing gift and I'm not going to use it? I've helped people with it. I know I have. I don't know why I let you tell me otherwise. At least I still have Amelia. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so that asterisk is gone. I'm going to jot down Amelia. What shit have you stolen from Hilda? <laughs> um, all right, and then... She One of the here. other nurses found her. Okay. She went without anyone even noticing. I wasn't there. I phoned in sick. I knew that if I went into work, I'd want to shift. I'm just going to pick apart that sentence. I only shift when I want to. It doesn't happen on its own. I have to will it. That's not what you said before, though. You said that someone has to... That's not what she said, though. I just don't know how to word it. You said before that you can only shift if I'm trying to remember if it was someone wants her to or imagine someone else holds her hand. Sorry. Can't help you. All right, so there's something to that, I think, but I don't know how to word it right now. Harry hasn't been into work for a few days. I hope there's nothing wrong with her. Hmm. Do you think there's something wrong with her? Harry and I are never going to be best friends, but I wouldn't wish her ill. Okay. Who's... Amelia. Oh, Amelia. 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 Amelia is Hilda's doll. She used to have about nine or ten of them, all glassy eyed and creepy looking with frilly dresses and curls. Oh, doll. I thought she said dog. In the end, we had to get rid of them. They weren't very hygienic. But we let her keep one, and that was Amelia. I'm not really helping, am I? Try asking me something else. Um.
Amelia's Hilda's doll. She used to have about nine or ten of them, all glassy-eyed and greasy looking with frilly dresses and curls. All over her room they were. In the end, he had to get rid of them. They weren't very hygienic. I don't understand why but they're not hygienic. One, and that was Amelia. Why weren't the dolls? I'm keeping her safe until I can pass her on to Hilda's daughter. Maybe she'll fly over for the funeral. I don't know. Are you okay, Doctor? Hmm? You look a bit pale. Hmm. I look pale? Sorry. No. <laughs> What do you mean I look pale? I don't have anything else to say. Oof, okay. Yes, I'm fine. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> yes, I feel all right. I don't know anything. Oh, I know you don't. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Um, right. Ah. <sighs> Hilda's funeral, maybe? I don't have anything else to say. Bet you don't. I mean, I figured that too, yeah. Or there's like, just, I don't know. Depending on what was ailing her, it could be, you know, a quarantine issue. Just, it was a, it was a weird thing to mention, I guess. Um, right. notes to ask about the drinking did dr decker drink narrow it down for me doctor what do you really want to know <laughs> anything more about dr decker i think of dr decker every time one of my patients dies it makes me remember how he didn't care about his mum he was a good therapist. He was a lousy son. I was angry at Dr. Decker. How angry? Daughter, Were you murdery angry? So fair enough. Maybe she really couldn't get over to see her. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Decker's mum was dying literally on the other side of town and he just couldn't be bothered. I shifted for her. But in a way, I wish I hadn't. Because it let Dr. Decker off the hook, you know? I didn't realize how little he cared until I told him the news. Okay. Let's try this again. Did Dr. Decker drink? Dr. Decker drank a bit. I mean, I didn't say anything about it, but well, it's not very professional, is it? I mean, it's not like he was drunk. It must be very stressful being a therapist. Do you find it stressful, Doctor? No, I don't find it stressful. <laughs> Maybe you're just tired then. You should get some rest. I should get some rest. Sorry, can't- Ugh, oh, you little shit. Okay. Um, do you take Tamazepam? Most people have taken sleeping pills at some time or another, haven't yeah. they? It's probably quite easy to get hold of them. Although, I have to get a doctor to sign a prescription if I need any at work. Probably the same for Jaya. Jaya seems really nice. I don't know why she'd want to work in a place like this. Oh my god, the shade of it all. A place like this? I just mean, you get all these weird people coming here. Uh-huh. I mean, <laughs> I've met some of them out in the waiting room. 
I know they're just people, but a couple of them have seriously given me the creeps. Okay. Let's let's talk shit. Who who are you looking at with this? Uh Do you know Nathan? I don't know who Nathan is. Okay. Do you know Bryce? Bryce? Mm, I'm not sure who that is. He's one of the creepy ones, honey. Um, do you know Mariana? I don't think I know her. Okay. <laughs> do you know Claire? <laughs> She's a slightly older one, isn't she? Always well dressed? I mean... Yes, her. I'm pretty good at picking up on people. Was this just all to say that she thinks Claire is weird? <laughs> Actually, I think I sort of know her. Claire Castleford, isn't it? Apparently, she attacked her husband or something. Mm hmm. Um. I'm not really helping, am I? Nope. Um. Let me check the list really quick. Maybe it's... It's just the main crew. Do you know Jasmine? Mm, let me think. No. Okay, so it's just the main, like, the recurring crew. All right. Okay, let's talk to Claire next since she was brought up. Hello. It's a very dramatic look today. I like it. I like it. Nice scarf. Hello. There's no lake house today. Sorry. Okay. He's not doing very well. He's caused a problem with the girl. I need to do something. Oh, it's the murder scarf. Uh, a problem? <laughs> The little girl, our neighbor at the lake house, mm -hmm. she says David is weird and creepy. Oh, oh fuck! Sorry, but I found some of the referral letters we were talking about. There is a pattern, but it's not the same for everyone. He said to get them to you ASAP, so here goes. Jay, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm firing her. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Something strange about these solicitors' names. Are they? They're all anagrams. Anagrams of what? I was just making a joke. Those are definitely all anagrams. I just don't know what of yet. I'm going to jot that down so I don't forget. Solicitors. Names. Anagrams. Okay. All right. Therefore, who? But for Claire, she's being charged with the murder of her husband. We require your diagnosis as to whether she was of sound mind, had the mean, the, and had the mens rea required for the crime, which I think is like sound mind, so like that she knew what she was doing. Um, even though it says sound mind right there. So I'm probably wrong. Um, hmm. That's 
going to bother me. Dear Dr. Decker, we believe that our client, who's only given us her first note, okay, so we have Mariana and Claire being referred by potentially the same people. You're happy to cover all your costs. And look forward to receiving your report forthwith. Attention, Dr. Decker. Referring yet another client to you today for further psychiatric evaluations. My hope that you concur with my suspicions and are able to find him insane under the guidelines set out within the McNaughton rules. I'm doing some quick anagram shit just to test some stuff. Um, back, not block. Okay. I know that's an anagram. Hi, Lars. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's going to bother me. Okay. I think the first word might be the, but I'm having trouble deciding what else it would be. So it's K A and a T R O. N, B, and C. Mm. Okay. Um, Right. There's no lake house today, sorry. David's not doing very well. He's caused the problem with the girl. I need to do something. David hasn't been well, otherwise I've taken you. Mm -hmm. Shall I bring him to you next time? Next time then. Although it will have to be just you here. And late at night. I can't have anyone else see him. Oh, I'm gonna get murdered. Neat. Okay. The little girl, our neighbor at the lake house, she says David is weird and creepy. David has been hunting and skinning again. Huh. But from the look of the torso, he caught a domestic cat. I'm being generous. It was definitely a cat. Uh -huh. I spoke to David about it, but I have no idea if he can comprehend me or not. He just grunts at me. He doesn't even smile anymore. Not at all. I'm seriously stuck on trying to figure out this anagram shit. <laughs> Because now that I've seen it, <laughs> I have to know. Hmm. Right. Um. David has been hunting, hunting and, and right a cat. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry. Uh, I left out an important detail. The girl, Anushka. She was crying because her cat had gone missing, and she thinks that David killed it. Did he? 
Doctor, I'm worried. I don't even know how to spell Anushka. Anushka? I spoke to her again. She wouldn't I apparently her spelled name, it right. Which is quite right. I am a stranger after all. So I gave her the name Anushka. She said the man that lives in the lake house is weird and creepy. Okay. Did we do something? I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I left out an important detail. The girl, Anushka, she was crying because her cat had gone missing and she thinks <gasps> that David killed it. Doctor, I'm worried. I'm worried that David's not going to stop at cats. He's killed deer, rabbits, wild birds, and now cats. I'm worried he might add little girls to his list. I can't stop him. I can't stop him. I can't control him in any way yeah. at all. Ever since I brought him back from the dead, he has done nothing but ignore me. I'm starting to think that. That I need to put David out of his misery. Oh, that you want I another go of it, huh? <laughs> Shit. That I need to kill him. Again. <laughs> what shall I do, Doc? Should I kill David? No. I'm not <laughs> No, you shouldn't kill David. Very well. It's up to you. I'll do as you say. I'm not going to sit here and tell I you to do it, I though. I can let this go on now that someone else knows about it. The responsibility of having David is too much for me on my own. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome. I think... I don't know. I need to do something about David. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? Tell me, how should I distract myself, Doctor? Sorry, I don't know about that. Is that lipstick or pills that she was putting on her mouth? I don't know. Okay, hang on. I need to do something about David. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? Tell me, how should I distract myself, Doctor? Um. <sighs> Thinking about what you've done? Okay, so I'm... Am I supposed to suggest that she, like... Man, everybody's thirsty today. Um, suggesting how she should distract herself, maybe? You can distract yourself by... Taking up a hobby? I have a hobby. I come here every week and talk to you. That's... That's not a hobby. <laughs> what else do you enjoy doing? No, sorry. Did I give you the photo? I can't remember. What? <laughs> what fucking photo? What photo? Oh yes, here. What? From a few weeks ago. As you can see, Doctor, he looks perfectly normal. I asked you what you enjoy doing, and you handed me a photo of David. I thought he was ignoring you. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of scared to look at this. This looks photoshopped as all hell. Alright. Uh. Photography? Sorry, that doesn't mean anything. Alright. I don't know. I need to do something about David. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? 
Tell me, how should I distract my subdoctor? Therapy isn't exactly a hobby. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to move on from that for a moment. Did... Dr. Decker drink. If Dr. Decker was an alcoholic, he hid it well. Okay. I never saw him drink. He certainly never offered me a drink. God knows I could have used one. Well, Jai has been offering you drinks left and right. <laughs> so I don't know what you mean by that. Um, and then do you take Temazepam? I've never used sleeping pills. Okay. I'm too afraid of what would happen to me in my sleep. Of what would happen to you in your sleep? I don't know. Okay. Great. Um... Do you know Elin? That's not relevant. I agree. <laughs> I don't know. I need to do something about David. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? Tell me how... Are you even listening to me? I am. Some of these questions are a bit far off the mark. They're not. Stop it. <laughs> uh... When was this photo taken? I have a thought. Wonder if this will work. I don't really know anything about that. <sighs> Can I show this to you? Doctor, I'm not sure I should be on. I. <sighs> Okay, so I guess I can't show that to her. Who is in the photo with David? Because there's someone there. What is that, gum? you referred here by anyone my solicitors did refer me but i ended up going privately as it was cheaper i'm paying them enough already without them getting a percentage of my therapy bill okay i don't know anything about that Oof. Okay. My solicitor's stop. Western history. It's a referral letter, Doctor. I know. Don't overthink it. I'm going to. Referral can't be too careful with everything that's been going on. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Great. Uh, I 
I don't want to skip around too much, but I do want to ask about that. Um, right. Let's go back to Claire. I never talked to Tobias, but I did talk to Iris. She didn't want to at first. She blames me for David's death, but as we both know, that's not a thing. <laughs> anyway, she said she was never locked up in any basement and had never heard of any Dr. Decker. So it's, as I first suspected, a lie. You didn't make all of that up so I talked to Iris again, did you? No, I didn't make it up so you would talk to Iris again. Then Mr. Bryce seems to have a few more issues than me. Yeah. Perhaps you should ask him about that. I will. Bryce. Basement. Gross. Um, right. This feels like it's going to be more layered, so... Yeah. I'm going to skip around a bit more. But we'll see. Hey, crazy. I'm fine. I'm worried. About? My pursuer in the hour. He's definitely military. I've developed a new skill to deal with him. Oh, oh good. He's definitely military? My pursuer. He's measured in his approach. Watching, testing. Uh -huh. When he finally came for me, I wasn't ready. I think he underestimated me though. And that allowed me to escape. He didn't think I'd be able to just leave. Why do you think he's coming after me, Doctor? Oh, uh, I think I might know. Why do you think he's coming after you? I think he's deaf, Doctor. I think I saved that old woman from burning to death in bed, and now he's coming after me to even the score. Do you think it could be death? No, I don't think it's death. It's just me. I'm going crazy. I'm so strange. Everything about me is strange already, but to have another presence in my hour, it's unhinged me. It's unhinged you? Ask me something else. Okay. Um. I'm fine. I'm worried. Oh shit. Oh I'm shit. <laughs> A revelation in the chat. <laughs> a new skill to deal with him. Right. What's your new skill? What's your favorite idea? Mine is having extra hours. Last night, I saw him draw something from his jacket. He was approaching me, grinning. I had nowhere to go. So I closed my eyes and imagined. Well, I imagined being back home. And when I opened them again, I was. I'd teleported. Or you're delusional and you snapped yourself out of it. Teleported? Oh. I was as surprised as you are. I just imagined I was somewhere else. And there I was. Perhaps Dr. Decker was right. Think of something and it becomes real. If you believe in it. But I'll only do it wisely. Imagine the mistakes you might make don't want to become one with the igneous layer too soon. <laughs> one with the igneous... I think I got that right. Layer? These sessions cost a lot of money, Doctor. I'm not just going to leave in the middle of one. But I can see you don't believe me. What? Do you really want me to teleport, Doctor? Uh, no. I don't want you to teleport. Good. 
I was starting to think you didn't care about me one way or the other. Of course I care about you. I don't know. Okay. Um Claire talked to Iris. She says she was never in a basement. How extraordinary. So the girl in the basement is somebody that Claire knows, and she's adamant that I didn't rescue her. Hmm. I really wish I'd taken photos now. That's not the correct response. Um, let's see. Hi, Sparkles. Welcome on in. Hope your Monday's going well. I was as surprised as you are. I just imagined I was somewhere else, and there I was. Perhaps Dr. Decker was right. Think of something, and it becomes real, if you believe in it. But I'll only do it wisely. Imagine the mistakes you might make. Don't want to become one with the igneous layer too soon. Okay, so there's... We could either go with what he said about Decker, or we could go with what he said about mistakes or use it wisely only use it wisely I don't intend to imagine things at all I only did it this time to avoid being killed that pursuer is definitely onto me I say he but I couldn't see his face it just had the build and size of a man it felt like it was sucking the oxygen out of the air in front of me Okay. I found it difficult breathing the closer he got to me. I suppose that's just fight or flight. An anxiety response. Uh huh. Anxiety resp response? Yes, I'm anxious. Uh huh. I think someone is trying to kill me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what else can we ask you? I know. I know. He's getting just more and more, more and more points docked for me, to be honest. Um, did Dr. Decker drink? I never saw Dr. Decker touch a drop. Doesn't mean it wasn't going on behind closed doors, though, does it? I hate that we just made the same face. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Were you referred here by anyone? I was one of Dr. Decker's first patients. I wasn't referred by anyone. So it was Nathan. My GP recommended I saw someone privately. I think he was just sick of listening to me complain about how little time I had during our 10 minute slot. Fair. A. Hey. <laughs> Jamie's got the jokes. I thought you were supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> Oh, I will bully my friends to better health. Um, okay, so it was Nathan that was referred here, which is interesting. So, common thread, right? The solicitor's names, I don't know what they're an anagram for. I popped you on the for background noise, but it's too good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> the solicitor's names are, are an anagram of each other. Again, I don't know what for yet. But I think it's all one person. Now, if we think about the fact that it's Claire, Mariana, and Nathan that are all referred by this person, assuming that Nathan says that he was referred, all three of those people were directly involved in someone's death so are we just being lied to by them to try and get like temporary insanity 
to get them out of a prison sentence because we have Mariana that's seeming like she has something to do with people disappearing based on what she's telling us. We have Nathan who pulled out in front of a lorry and his fiance died. And then we have Claire who just outright murdered her husband. Um, so I kind of feel like we might be getting played by some of these people, but maybe not all of them. Like Bryce genuinely seems troubled. And I don't know about Elin. We'll see about Elin, I guess, but the gears are turning. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out, but I think those three at minimum were referred by the same person. Um, okay. Have you spoken to Jessica? I saw Jessica across the street this morning. Great. She waved, but I just crumbled. Ever since I took those photos, I haven't been able to face her. Do you think I should tell her about the photos, Doctor? Um, no, I don't think you should tell her about the photos. I didn't think I should either. No. She'd hate me forever. Well, that's not why. Maybe when she next waves, I'll at least wave back. Okay. Would you consider deleting the photos? I have nothing to tell you about that. I wish you did. Um... I can show him the photo, okay. I have no idea when it was taken. Shocking composition. Okay. Okay. Shocking composition. Your questions seem to be getting more and more irrelevant. That's rude. You literally just said that. Okay, so we have him confirming that that's David. Cool. Um... So we know that. That's good. Are we still in the red for him? We are. Okay, so what are we not thinking of right now? Oh, right, the Tamazepam question. Do you take Tamazepam? My other doctor had prescribed me sleeping pills before I came to see Dr. Decker. Mm -hmm. I think they were called Tamazepam. Okay. I never took them. Okay. You didn't take sleeping sleeping pills. Okay. Um why not take the tablets? I don't know anything about that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I asked about the drinking. Oh, okay. 
How's work going? <laughs> work is fine. <laughs> if anything, I've been falling behind again. I think it's the stress of not being alone in the midnight hour anymore. Gee, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? What were you up to? How was your stream? Thank you so much for bringing your friends in. If you're new here, my name is Allie. I'm a variety streamer and we play a fair bit of indies here. Um, and right now we're playing a game called, it's an FMV game called The uh, Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. And it's really, really good. Um, Tamagoth Chick, love that username. Welcome on in. Um, yeah, thank you for the shout out to G Boss. I was playing some DVD. How dare I ask, how'd your games go? Also, are you more a killer or survivor? I don't know if I've ever asked that. Hi, Coop. Welcome on in. I, I am, this game has gotten me on the FMV train. Like, this game is so fun and so interesting. I just hope I'm playing it right. <laughs> I want to know all the secrets. Um, but yeah, welcome on in. Hope the games went well. And if you need to take off after your stream to eat or rest or anything like that, feel free. But if you want to hang out for a bit, feel free to do that too. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for bringing your community over. I really appreciate that. More killer these days, but I have more hours on Survivor. The games are a mixed bag. That's fair. I feel like that's most of the time with DVD for sure. Um, and yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely more of a Survivor main, but I'm... I played my first, um, I was a Huntress main at one point and I did, um, I did try and play my first Huntress game in like a year the other week and I'm, I'm starting to kind of, to realize why I'm missing Killer a little bit. It's just fun. I'm glad you had a good stream. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I got to get off to bed, but I hope you have a great stream. Thank you for the shout out. Thank you for the raid and get some good rest. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you again. Right. How's work going? Fine. If anything, I've been falling behind again. I think it's the stress of not being alone in the midnight hour anymore. <laughs> you look so pouty. <laughs> uh... The midnight hour. It wants me to ask about this. I stole hopefully. a painting. There. I didn't ask. <laughs> it was from the local gallery. Probably. Bryce. I really like it, but I can't afford it. So I took it. <laughs> I didn't fucking ask, dude. Now I have to ask. You stole a paint, a pointing, a painting. I don't understand. I don't understand you. You stole. It's just that one thing, just the painting I've stolen recently. I think my new pursuer is unraveling me. Is it okay to steal things, Doc? No! If I really like them. No! I think the police are tailing you. I don't think it's a hallucination at all. No, it's not okay to steal. I thought you'd say that. Did you? Why'd you steal? I will steal? do my best to refrain from it, but I can't promise anything. I wish you could. Oh my god. <laughs> you stole is what got the answer. Unbelievable. There, I've said it. Said meant it the, gallery. the gallery. Providence. That's where I Jasmine really like works. It, I can't afford it. So I took it. Providence. Providence is the name of the local gallery here. Always lots of new art and artists if you only visit once a year. Like I do, any <laughs> just to just snag your yearly painting, okay. Um, he said something about not having money, but I, I need the verbiage. Painting. There, I've said it. It was from the local gallery, Providence. I really like it, but I can't afford. It. You couldn't afford it? Sorry. Um, what was the painting of? It's a painting of a spider in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that's stuck at quarter past three. A spider? A spire? A spider? The spider from the painting. I'd like to think it was me. Like, I was lying in wait 
and spinning some elaborate trap in my midnight hour. It's more likely that I'm just the fly. <laughs> Uh, quarter past three? No. No? Okay. Grandfather clock? My grandfather died in World War II. He was a lorry driver. I don't really know much about him. Brave, though, you'd imagine. Okay. And then he said something about a pendulum. No. Guess you didn't. All right. It's a painting of a spider. In a right. He said something about a trap. A pendulum of a grandfather clock that stuck at quarter past three. Maybe I have to do this. Mm, no. The clock is stuck. Um, a large web. I don't know anything about that. Oh, but you do, sir. Um, do you like about the painting? Fuck's sake. It's a painting of a spider in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that's stuck at quarter past three. Mm hmm. Been spoiled with Ali streams recently. What the fuck? Sorry, I'll just. Should, should I just go? <laughs> Welcome in Kit Kats. I I get this way when I'm like really into a game and this is like this game has just been like really getting me back into streaming which I, I needed something like this because streaming for whatever reason was so it was so difficult so this is helping a lot. Um, I'm not complaining. Okay. Okay. Um... Let's try this one. It's just quick. that one thing, just the painting I've stolen recently. <laughs> I think my new pursuer is unraveling me. Is it okay to steal things? No. If I really like them. Okay, so we have unraveling and we have recently that I picked out there. That you've stolen recently? Have you stolen other things in the past? Unraveling you? No, no, I'm not becoming him. I'm not becoming Decker. I didn't ask. You're giving me a lot of things I did not ask for. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it did. That did do that though. Okay. Not here it's applying for jobs on the clock. <laughs> in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that stuck. Well, good luck with the job hunting. Three. How do you know the clock is stuck? Okay. Um. Ask me something else. Okay. No, don't know. Okay. Um. It's a painting of a spider in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that's stuck at quarter past three. Wonder if I put it in this format. Your questions seem to be getting That's a matter of opinion. Thanks. Um <laughs> kick ass for fuck's sake. The spider from the painting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think it was me. Like I was lying in wait and spinning some elaborate trap in my midnight hour. 
it's more likely that I'm just the flow. Sorry. There's no fly in the painting. I think that's what I like about it. The spider has been so intent on spinning its web that it hasn't noticed there'll be nothing to eat. Okay. trying to be clever um if you're the fly then who is the spider okay um do you feel guilty about stealing recently no Okay, <laughs> great. Um, hit please. Oh. Maybe we can stop your curse. No, Doctor. No, you can't. Why not? I've seen what you can do. You can listen and ask, but you don't have any real power. <laughs> well, fuck you too, Bryce. I'm glad I'm done with you. <laughs> Um, let's go to Nathan next. <laughs> um, hey, buddy. Hi. I'm feeling good. I ran into one of your other patients, Mariana. Don't talk to her. I think we might go on a date. Oh, don't do that. You're gonna die. <laughs> Ariana? I can't really explain it, but she seems like such a friendly person. <laughs> I think the police are barking up the wrong tree. Uh, what about her being nude on a beach? The police? I think I've probably said too much. No, you've not it's said enough. It's the same girl anyway. The same girl? Read the papers. Doctor. No. I don't, but people are- Well then fuck off. Missing people, dead bodies. The police are looking for a redhead apparently. Haven't got a clue. Sorry. <sighs> Read the papers, Doctor. I don't, but people at work talk about it. Missing people, dead bodies. Mm -hmm. The police are looking for a redhead, apparently. Missing people? I don't know anything about that. You do, dead bodies? Work with me, Doctor. Ask me something I back to that read the papers doctor <sighs> i don't but people at work nope sorry where do you work i can't tell you anything. oh right he's at a supermarket i know this um were you referred here by anyone my solicitors assured me that i wouldn't have to discuss anything about my child with you so i'm not going to concentrate on my state of mind and let me worry about other things. Cam, okay, more suspicious of you now, so I think my theory with those three might be true. Um. Okay, there's something in here. Read the papers, Doctor. I don't, but people at work talk about it. Missing people, dead bodies. The police are looking for a redhead, apparently. Why don't you read the papers? I don't know. I don't know. 
What do the papers say? Sorry. Oh, you're not. Have you mentioned Ariana to the police? Why do you want to go on a date with someone who might be a murder suspect? Okay. Why do you think the redhead might be Mariana? God damn it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Decker drink. Break it down for me. I can't answer all those questions at once. If you get the combination of alcohol and sleeping tablets just right, you can knock out an elephant. You have no idea what kind of animal Dr. Decker was. Which reminds me, my truck driver died. I beg your pardon. <laughs> um, why do you know that about alcohol and sleeping pills? It's funny how when somebody dies, all their bad traits come out. Yes, Dr. Decker was a heavy drinker. He would often pour himself a glass during one of our sessions. Pretty rude. That is kind of rude. That's weird. Uh, what kind of animal Decker was? What are you trying to do most? Cure his patients or find out who killed him? Both. Sometimes I wonder where you're going with some of <laughs> I'm trying to cure his patients and find out who killed him. You're confusing me again, Doctor. I'm not. I'm not sure you know where you want to ask sometimes. Oh my god. I'm trying to help his patients. I don't know anything about that. You don't, you know? You really don't. What are you trying to do most? Cure his patients, or find out who killed him. Cure his patients. I'm trying to cure his patients. It's been nice chatting with you. Don't get me wrong. But I can't help but feel you're mainly interested in finding out about the old doctor. I suppose you already know Dr. Decker thought one of his patients was trying to kill him. Which one? Decker thought one of his patients was trying to kill him? He told me in one of our sessions, which was later rewound, that someone had been leaving him messages on his prescription pad. Not good messages. What kind of messages? He didn't tell me anything specifically. Just death threats. It was one of his many rants. I just sat there quietly, hoping he wasn't going to try and hypnotize me again. I asked him if it was a boy or a girl's handwriting. He said he knew who it was, and that they'd be in trouble. I think he was bluffing. Mm, fair enough. Description pad? Okay. Um, you think he was bluffing? I don't think he knew who was behind the death threats, or he'd have stopped them. Okay. Um, right. Hypnotize you? Sorry, don't know. Dr. Decker hypnotized you? Okay. If you get the combination of alcohol and sleeping tablets just right, you can knock out an elephant. You have no idea what kind of animal Dr. Decker was. Which reminds me, my truck. Right, the truck driver. The truck driver that ran into Hannah. He's divorced, apparently. He killed himself. He makes sleeping pills with alcohol, too. But he died in his garage. How do you know this? I can't tell you anything about that. OK. 
Okay. Um. In his. Gosh. I read it in the paper. He'd been drinking. Then he took the sleeping pills. Then he went into his garage and put the hose pipe through his window. They usually don't put all that in the Not paper. Until he put his daughter in the seat first. His daughter? It's one of those newspaper stories you read and you hope it says he leaves behind his wife and seven year old daughter. But his daughter was in the car. Do you know I wrote him a letter? I wish you didn't read the papers. I haven't got a clue. Sorry. Ugh! You wrote him a letter? A litter? A letter? Dr. Decker told me one of the ways to get through my grief would be to write a letter to the truck driver. <laughs> You're not supposed to send it. I tried to forgive him. I know it was my fault. But the thing that made me feel best was blaming him. <laughs> I think maybe he killed himself because of me. Mm. Do you think I'm to blame, Doctor? No. No, there's other shit happening there. I don't think you're to blame. Maybe. Who knows what he was doing when he ran into Hannah. His daughter's picture was in the paper. Molly. Molly? Ever since I saw a picture in the paper, I've started thinking I could see her. Out of the corner of my eye. Like she's watching. Uh, fuck! Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. Um... I hate it here. Um, <laughs> shit. Oh, guys, we're nuts. One of those newspaper stories you read, and you hope it says he leaves behind his wife and seven year old daughter. But his daughter was in the car. Do you know I wrote him a letter? Uh huh. Is she, is she gonna be in the playback? Ever since I saw a picture in the paper, I started thinking I could see her. Out of the corner of my eye, like she's watching me. No. Nope. Crazy, right? Pretty crazy. Um. <laughs> one of those newspaper stories you read, and you hope it says he leaves behind his wife and seven-year-old daughter. Mm-hmm. But his daughter was in the car. Do you know I wrote him a letter? What does it want me to ask about that? Nope. Sometimes I wonder where you're going with some of these- Oh, I'm accusing you of stuff. Let me to it. <laughs> uh... Read the papers, Doctor. I don't. But people at work oh, talk about God. it. Missing people, dead bodies. The police are looking for a redhead, apparently. Okay, I was thinking about telling him to stay away from Ariana, but I wasn't sure. You should stay away from Ariana. What's wrong with Mariana? Wait. Don't answer that. She might be a murder suspect. You know. What? You'll let me know? Work with me, Doctor. Oof. So did that get rid of anything? Yeah. Okay. So now that's something, though, I can ask her. It's one of those newspaper stories you read and you hope it says he leaves behind his wife and seven-year-old daughter. Are you glad the truck driver is dead? You were hoping the driver would die? Okay, what's something mundane 
that we've forgotten to ask about, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Have you had any loop incidents recently? I don't know anything about that. Oof! <laughs> Hit me, baby! Um, oh, right, I'm supposed to tell them all that I can, like, help them. Maybe I can help you stop reliving your days. Please do. I wish I could believe you. I know. Why can't you believe me? I don't know. Okay, sorry. Um, it still wants me to it's ask about this. one of those newspaper this. stories you read, and you hope it says he leaves behind his wife and seven-year-old daughter. But his daughter is in the car. Do you know I wrote him a letter? What did your letter say? She was seven years old? Nope. <sighs> Why did he kill his daughter? Oh my god, in me! A sick. Mm. Hint. <laughs> Hit me now. Honey me now. Okay. Do you wish you could save Molly? Yeah, save Molly. As if that wasn't one of those days that just moved into the next one. Right. Okay, so we're clear on him now. Oh, dear. All right, Mariana. You're the popo are looking for you. Are the police looking for you? That's not something I know anything about. Uh-huh. Do you know Nathan? He's the cute, sad-looking one, isn't he? He asked me out, and I said I'd let him know. Do you think I should go out with him? No, I don't. You're gonna kill him. No, I don't think you should go out with him. Doctor, I didn't take you for the jealous type. Are you feeling a bit jealous? No, I am not feeling jealous. That answer would have a lot more weight if you stopped coming around my house. I'm not coming to your house! That doesn't mean anything to me. It does! <laughs> Literally, stop. I came to your house again? Agent? Again? No. No? I'm... I am not coming to your house. Ask me something else. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Maybe I can stop your blackouts. <laughs> you said it with such a serious look on your face, I almost believed you. It would be good if you had some kind of superpower that helped me. But I don't think so. Why not? Superpower? Wow. Are you trying to scare me? I'm not sure that's a good idea, Doctor. What? I'm not sure what's a good idea. I'm not trying to scare you. I know nothing. Ugh. Not sure what's a good idea. I don't know. Oh! Okay, so she was, I think, the first. Yeah, she was the first one we talked to. Oh my god. This guy stinks! <laughs> Hmm. 
Now that Decker is dead, you don't have to pay back the loan, right? Dr. Decker died. Could you have killed Decker so you wouldn't have to repay the loan? I don't care if she's been dancing. <laughs> Have you been to the nightclubs? No. Have you been dancing? No. There's been no dancing. I haven't been feeling that well, Doctor. All right. Well, then why did it tell me to ask that? <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Elin. Can I show you the picture now? Photo of David. I don't have anything. Maybe she hasn't seen him. Um. Right. Elin, Elin, Elin. What did I leave you on? <laughs> I'm like scared that she's going to be like, what do you mean stop my shifting? Maybe we can stop the shifting. I'm not really helping, am I? Maybe we can stop your shifting. Doctor, I'm not sure I should be asking. What if I can stop you from shifting? You've never seen me angry, have you, Doctor? I knew she'd be don't pissed. Say things like that when you don't mean them. It causes upset. <laughs> I knew she was gonna be pissed. <laughs> upset? Upset? Mm, let me think. Causes upset? The whole thing with Hilda has just made me realise how important shifting is. Even if I sometimes have bad experiences or I get it wrong, I need to keep doing it. I become what people want to see. Mm -hmm. But some people... They're not right in the head. They make me turn into horrible things. That's why I won't shift for anyone with mental problems anymore. Anymore? Sorry, can't. One guy, a patient, he used to have night terrors. Mm -hmm. An 80 year old man screaming and kicking in his sleep. When I shifted for him, I don't know who I became, but as soon as he saw me, he was terrified. And when I looked down, I didn't have any legs, just bits of them. Oh. Okay. Um... Can I ask her? <laughs> I don't really know anything about that. Okay. Um... Okay, so I don't see any asterisks on the stuff we just asked her. I don't know anything about- Yeah, because I made a typo. Don't acknowledge me. 
I don't have a referral letter for her, but okay. Were you referred here by anyone? I referred myself because of Dr. Decker's mother. Right, yeah. Was I supposed to have a letter? No. Nope, you're good. Okay, then. I asked her about the sleeping pills. I asked her about the drinking. Maybe I can ask them about the death threats. No, okay. Sorry. No. Okay. Um <sighs> I feel like I should have been able to follow up on her saying that stuff about Claire. But maybe if I tell her what happened, Claire stabbed her husband. No, okay. <laughs> Three seconds. Tell me what I'm missing. Okay. I assume he did. You could shift. Yes, I told Dr. Decker. Most other people wouldn't have believed me, but he did. In fact, he cared far more about the shifting than he did about his mum dying. That's fucked. Heard more about the shifting? Mm. Stop it. Yes, I told Dr. Decker. Most other people wouldn't have believed me, but he did. In fact, he cared far more about the shifting than he did about his mum dying. He didn't care about his, his mum dying? For a moment, I thought he might cry. Mm -hmm. Just for a split second. But he didn't. He just carried on with our session. I wish I knew what went on there. Jaya probably knows. She spent quite a long time with Sarah when she visited. <sighs> okay. How did Sarah feel about her son? Doctor, I'm not sure. have a little palate cleanser. Hi, new person. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm Glenn. Uh, I didn't expect to be here. I was looking for the men's room. Oh. Uh, the men's room? Like I said, I was in the green room. You know that new restaurant in town. Uh, I actually need to do something. Uh, Sorry, um, I was in the middle of a date and needed the restroom, and here I am. Sorry, sorry, you're not familiar with my case. I stepped through the restroom door into your office. Sometimes when I go through a door, it opens to another place. I don't know. Oh, you just said it, though. Okay, what's my note? Ask Glenn if Jaya saw him. Okay. Did Jaya see you walk in? No. I shouldn't imagine she did that. I didn't even pass through the waiting room. Besides, it's lunchtime. She won't be there. Why wouldn't she be there? Sorry, I don't know. Why wouldn't she be there at lunchtime? No, not really. 
but it's lunchtime. Oh. And you don't normally see patients now. Well, Dr. Decker didn't normally see patients now. Okay. Dr. Decker was crazy. I arrived late to the party. Uh, apparently, he was a fine, upstanding citizen before. I don't know what changed him. Of the few sessions I had with him, he'd observed me walking through doors. He'd observe you? But I'd walk through a door and I'd disappear. And then I couldn't get back. The session was £150 either way. Oh. So I paid that for a couple of times and then decided it was a bad idea. Fair enough. That sucks. As you can see, it's still happening. Okay. But I'd walk through a door and I'd disappear. And then I couldn't get back. The session was £150 either way. So I paid that for a couple of times and then decided it was a bad idea. As you can see, it's still happening. The doors. Yeah. I'm still vanishing from one place to another. My dad died. Okay. He was on his deathbed and I was complaining about work, women or whatever. It was Midian. He said, when one door closes, another opens. Mm -hmm. When he died. I needed those words to be important. So, here I am. Okay. Tell me about your dad. He was stoic. He had tuberculosis in his lungs. That's what killed him. Nobody knew until the end. Yeah. I never got to say I loved him. Did you love him? Yeah. Maybe. He'd split with my mum three years earlier. It was messy. It was bad. I didn't talk to him really at all. They called me as next of kin, said I should come in if I wanted to say goodbye. I did love him. He just broke everything. I have no idea. Okay. He broke everything? No. I hadn't seen him for so long. Let it all out. I, I screamed. I shouted. I punched the walls. Do you know what he said? What did he say? Sorry. Over and over again. Like he really meant it. He did. He really meant it. And when I stopped, when I was exhausted, he smiled at me. Like, like he cherished me. Like he'd been waiting to say sorry. <laughs> waiting for forgiveness. I didn't get to. I didn't get to say I loved him. I didn't get to forgive him. He just said when one door closes, another opens. And he died. What does he think of me? I think he loves you. All those years, thinking I was the bigger man. It turns out he was. There's no going back, is there, Doctor? Eh. When one door closes, it's shut forever. I 
I think another door still opens. Nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All those years thinking I was the bigger man. It turns out he was. There's no going back, is there, Doctor? When one door closes, it's shut forever. No, I don't think it's shut forever. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not shut forever. Oh, I know this one. What's the phrasing? What's the phrasing? When one door closes, another opens. Don't know. You do! <laughs> You've said it like seven times. All those years, thinking I was the bigger man. Mm. It turns out he was. There's no going back, is there, Doctor? When one door closes, it's shut forever. No, it, it's not shut for... Did I already say that? How? Okay. How do I go back? You can only go forward. Interesting question. It's not a question. It's a statement. I should tell Glenn to stop feeling guilty or tell him to just open a door back into the room where his dad was or go back in time. No. Try to stop feeling guilty. I think you're probably right. I've been trying to address the symptoms and not the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. You might be the best replacement doctor this place has seen. Ah, oh, stop it, you. I'll book a real appointment next time. <laughs> and you can help me with this. Okay. Thanks, doctor. You're welcome. Okay, so what else am I supposed to say here? How? How do I go back? I'm not sure. What is it? I don't want to tell him to time travel. Like, I feel like that's counterproductive to what's happening here. So when door back into the room where his dad was, or go back in time if that helps him deal with it. No. How? How do I go back? Doesn't ring any bell. Okay, um, did Dr. Decker drink? Okay, um, do you take Mazepam? Yes. Uh, sleeping pills? Sorry, I don't know. Okay, so he has no idea what sleeping pills are. Great. Um, I'm not telling him in a time travel, I forget it. Don't tell him to time travel. Can you walk back into the room your dad died in? I hadn't thought of that. Just to see. I've just been thinking when I open a door, it goes somewhere else in the present. Not in the past. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. I'll try that. Now, 
I'll try that now. That's a window. Okay, he's gone. Okay. Um. All right. Sure, Scarlet. Hello, Scarlet. I haven't been in since he died. Mm -hmm. Since Doctor Decker died. Uh huh. How well did you know Dr. Decker? He was a complicated man, as I suppose most people are. His external persona didn't match what he dreamed about. I really don't know anything about You just literally just said it. What he dreamed about? His dreams were amazing, filled with a spectrum of colors and creatures. It was like Narnia for grown-ups. That was in the beginning. Mm. Creatures. Fluid, soft, intricate things. I couldn't draw a picture if you asked, but they drew me to them. They looked a little strange, but you felt compelled to watch them. I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Um. Colors? No. Um. In the beginning. Chaotic. Dark. Like an earthquake, everything you stood on shifted into something else. I think he was fighting with something internally. And it was winning. I don't know. It's a turn of phrase. Is it? Inner demons? Insanity? I don't know. I can visit dreams, but I can't force the dreamer to interact with me. Pass. <laughs> okay. Uh... His dreams were amazing. Filled with a spectrum of colors and creatures. It was like Narnia for grown-ups. That was in Okay, so Narnia is what I'm supposed to ask about. Like, Narnia? I'm a dreamwalker. I can visit people and help them in their dreams. You've not caught up on all his old patients yet, then. Dreamwalker? It's something I've been able to do since I was little. I was born an identical twin, and my sister and I shared dreams. We just thought it was normal. When our younger brother started having night terrors, we helped him. I just need to know the person. A little, and know they're dreaming. Then I can sort of jump into them. It's something, I think, in my mind. Firstly, I need to sleep myself. I'm constantly tired, so I can pretty much sleep on demand. Mood. Before I go, I think of jumping into that person. That's how it works for me. I've tried teaching others, but I don't know if anyone else can do it. I don't know. Lots of people. Whenever I get close enough to tell somebody about it, the first thing they want to do is try it out or have me visit their dreams. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why I'm here relationships it's difficult to sustain them I'm not just talking about romantic entanglements it's hard keeping friends too 
Like I said before, I tell them about my ability and they immediately want to try it out. The problem is, I don't normally like what I see. I think people try to show off. Firstly, they're a bit shocked if I turn up in their dream. But when they're comfortable with that, they start to put on a show. But most people can't control their dreams, so they tend to turn into nightmares pretty quickly. Oh look, I'm dreaming of a giant Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Oh, why is it destroying New York? <laughs> yeah? When you've experienced someone's dream if they've been a bit creepy in it or terrified me it's hard to look someone in the eyes after that it's embarrassing what should I do doctor should I not tell people about my ability keep it a secret bottle it up I mean, probably. I don't want to say that, but if people abuse it, then yeah. Like, if it were more a more complex game, I would say just wait a bit longer to tell people, but... I think you should wait longer to tell people about your gift. No. Okay. No, I don't think you should tell people about your ability. I know, right? So, if I tell them, what can I do to stop pushing people away? I, I said the opposite of what you just answered. <laughs> Sky wants to stop pushing people away. Maybe she just refused to dreamwalk for them or be honest about what might happen or accept that they're just dreams. You could refuse to dreamwalk for them. So if I could breathe through my ears, you wouldn't want to see it. I do say no. A lot. Yeah? I usually cave eventually. What? Don't cave. Um, could you be honest with them about what might happen? Double honest. Interesting. I suppose Scare I haven't em. really tried that. Scare them. I em. might just give that a go. Freak them out. Full sport. I don't want to write off that they're just dreams, though. I know, right? So, if I tell them, what can I do to stop pushing people away? Okay, so it still has that check mark for me. Um, it's difficult to sustain them. I'm not just talking about romantic entanglement. Hard keeping friends too. Like I said before, I tell them about my ability and they immediately want to try it out. Okay, so it's those two turns of phrase. The problem is I don't normally like And then I, I think I may have asked the optional question first. He's dead now, so I suppose it won't affect him if I admit to that. So yes. I was. Not near the end, though. Not when his dreams started changing. <laughs> like I said, my ability ruins relationships. Who told you? Jaya? Just thought she'd know. 
thought she'd know everything about her precious Dr. Decker. Why is everybody so jealous of everyone? Sorry. We didn't speak that much. But she was a lot like the other woman. So much control over someone who was supposed to be her superior. Other woman? Try again, Doctor. Something I can answer, maybe? What do you mean, the other woman? What? Okay. Maybe Claire. Are you talking about Claire? Sorry. I don't know. Right, um... People try it out? Okay, so that may have overlapped with trying out the power, okay. I know, right? So, if I tell them, what can I do to stop pushing people away? Have you tried telling yourself that they're just dreams? It's difficult to do when you experience them like I do. Right. But I know what you're saying is right. A lot of the time I assume people are controlling their dreams like I can. But they're probably directed by their subconscious and who controls that? Um Okay, I'm cleared I think on all of these. Did Dr. Decker drink? Okay. Do you take Timazepam? Sorry. No. That's not something I want to talk about. Why not? <laughs> um, were you referred? Here, did I already ask that? Sounds familiar. Okay, so I can't ask them about that because I guess they're tertiary characters. Um... Right. How did Dr. Decker's dreams change? Um, do you have a twin? Sounds familiar. Yeah, because you said it, lady. Hint me. Oh, I have to do a backlog now. What were you were you doing on Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day was awful. I had a bit of an accident with a creme brulee torch. Oh. And had to spend the night waiting in A&E. I melted a nail to my finger. It hurt a lot. I needed stitches. It's all fine now, though. something I want to talk about. I'm asking very valid questions. <laughs> uh, okay, what else did we ask everybody else about Paper Spike? I didn't have anything to say about that. Great. Um, what about Valentine's Night? I don't want to ask her to prove that she can dreamwalk.
you and this is exactly yeah. what I'm talking about see you're asking me for proof how can I do that get into your head into your dreams we don't have any real relationship yet doctor but you are growing on me <laughs> Let's not break that just yet. Lady, look, I only do what the hints tell me to. Um. What do you do for work, maybe? I really don't know anything. Right. Um. No. I brought your brother. That's not something I... Okay, um... I'm growing on you? Sorry. <laughs> um... I just wanna... Ugh. There's gotta be something. Oh, I'm supposed to just keep, like, suggesting. Could you be dreaming about other people's dreams? Dreaming that you're in other people's dreams. Perhaps. Perhaps this session is a dream, Doctor. Maybe. I don't see anyone else around. Do you? Oh, I was really scared that something was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go back to Claire. I told Bryce that you talked to Iris. Okay. Um. Getting into hint territory with the others too. I don't know if there's, I really wish I could filter this. Wait, can I filter this? Oh my god, I can filter this. Unbelievable. Okay, this changes everything. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, thank god. All right, so this is the one that's still in green, and I assume that's the one that we have left. I don't know. I need to do something about David. It's just too much. How can I stop thinking about what I've done? Tell me, how should I distract myself, Doctor? could distract yourself with a book? I don't have an answer for you. Ugh. Would, why would I suggest dating if she thinks her husband's alive? You could distract yourself with dating. I don't want anybody else. Yeah. I reanimated my cheating husband <laughs> so we could be together. <laughs> Isn't that a big enough sign? Sign of... <laughs> sign of what? I don't know what you're talking about. No, you. Uh... You could distract yourself with traveling? Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to me. You could distract yourself with... Reading? Are you even listening to me? Yes, I am, unfortunately. You could distract yourself with TV? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh. You could just dis distract yourself with a subscription to your to save you money, stress, and time. That 
that's not relevant. I know, I know, okay? I know it's not. <laughs> I thought I'd try, though. Oh my god. Hint. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. Maybe I can stop you from reanimating people. That's an interesting idea, Doctor. This is not really something that needs to be done, though. I have no intention of reanimating anybody anymore. It hasn't gone very well in the past. I don't have an answer for you. Okay, it still wants me to do something about... Sorry, I don't know about that. You could distract yourself. With a pet? I think he was fascinated with Tor and David and I had become new test subjects for him. What? When I said David never listens to me, he urged me to start giving David treats for pleasing me. What? Not in that way. I but didn't showing ask. Showing him how to close a door, for example. If he did it, give him a treat. That's not it what I meant by pet. Work, but I had to stop myself. I felt like I was training a monkey. It just wasn't right. Treats? I don't know. It just wasn't right? I don't know anything about that. Training a monkey? David doesn't listen to me. I can't say something and he does it. And besides, how would I show him not to kill a little girl? Slap him on the nose? It's too late for David. Okay. I was asking you about hobbies, but I'm glad we went on that little tangent. Um, okay, did Dr. Decker offer any theories about David? Dr. Decker was very quiet in our sessions after seeing David. After a while, he started talking about David like he was a pet. Asking me what I fed him, what he'd do in Okay, that's what I was missing. Dr. Decker was <clears throat> very quiet in our sessions after seeing David. After a while, he started talking about David like he was a pet. Asking got me that what part. I fed him, what he'd do in certain conditions. What do you feed him? That's not relevant. I know. Certain conditions? Dr. Decker asked me if I'd ever accidentally locked David in, which I hadn't. But curiosity got the better of me, so I locked him in the snake house. He couldn't get out. He didn't have the wherewithal to operate the lock. This is gonna haunt me. <laughs> Hit me. Oh, okay. You could distract yourself. I hate that I didn't think of that. Job. A job? Yeah. Yeah. I'll find myself a nice little job packing bags in a grocery store, answering the telephone and the solicitors. I'll put on my uniform and smile at the customers and talk about the weather, and everything will be wonderful and sunny and bright. You asked me. Next. <laughs> Jesus. She literally asked me. What do I have to deal with you? Over. <sighs> okay, I don't have anything obvious here. Have you seen Max again? Sorry. No. 
Have you been on a second date? I don't have anything else to say about that. Oh, why not? <laughs> Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Um... Okay, did you ever try shifting for Dr. Decker? Yes, once. I wanted to show him what I could do so mm -hmm. he could see for himself. I took his hand, I told him to think of a loved one, and then there was nothing. I mean, literally nothing, just an empty void. The only thing I could feel was his hand holding mine. I'm pretty sure without that, I'd have... I'm not sure I could have made it back. I don't know anything about... I don't really know anything about that. I'm not really helping, am I? Nope. Um... There was nothing. Sorry. Is, did Dr. Decker not love anyone? Okay. Yes, once. I wanted to show him what I could do so he could see for himself. I took his hand. I told him to think of a loved one. And then there was nothing. I mean, literally nothing. Just an hey, sacred. empty Welcome on void. In. The only thing I could feel was his hand holding mine. I'm pretty sure without that I'd have... I'm not sure I could have made it back. I don't know anything about that. Oh, you do, though. You do, though. Um... There was nothing? I don't really know anything about that. I'm really enjoying it. It's a really good game. Hit me. Oh, was Dr. Decker near death when you shifted for him? I've thought about that a lot. Because shifting is only supposed to work on people who are dying. But Dr. Decker was near death. Just because no one knew it doesn't mean it's not the truth. It kind of gets you thinking about destiny and fate and everything like that. My mum's a big believer in fate. I'm not so sure. I mean, what about free will? If everything is fated to happen, then we're just machines carrying out commands. Maybe fate does have a plan for everyone. I'm glad you're enjoying but it, Molly. Who says Hope you're you doing well. Okay, so they're all done. Now we talk to Jaya. I thought that was a cat toy for a second. I was like, um, what you doing? Stop jump scaring me. Sorry, I can't answer. Hi. I don't want to talk about grief today. Too bad. I'm getting enough grief from work. I, I I'm literally your only co-worker. I don't know if you know, but Professor Alderby used to be my professor. He teaches history and psychology amongst other things. I know it's not technically work, but he asked if I would allow him to have the video footage of the sessions with Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker wanted to be removed from all of the videos, so it's jump cut after jump cut, but I'm sure you've already noticed that. Mm-hmm. I like Prof. 
Professor Alderby. He turned me on to that book I've been raving about. Okay. The Cult of the Kinetic Mind. I should start selling them myself. <laughs> um. I didn't think you'd mind, since it wasn't your case anyway. Mostly, it's the professor talking about how he viewed reality back then, in so much as he thought it was changeable. There's nothing else to do but watch while things are encoding. Interesting, but I don't... I didn't think you'd mind, since it wasn't your case anyway. Mostly, it's the professor talking about how he viewed reality back then, in so much as he thought it was changeable. There's nothing else to do but watch while things are encoding. Psychokinetics, remember? Cult of the Kinetic Mind? Professor Alderby said it was recommended reading to help psychiatrists in their frontline battle with insanity, he likes to call it. Professor Alderby saw the relationship between psychiatrist and patient as a winnable battle. The patient must be cured by removing their psychokinetic ability, if present, either by telling them it doesn't exist or by using another psychokinetic ability to negate it. It's a long time ago, I can't remember all of it. There was a specific example. If someone tells you they can fly, you tell them you control air currents and that from now on they won't be allowed to use them. This would normally stimulate the brain in such a way that the patient stopped thinking they could fly. The main danger as the therapist is believing that you can control air currents. If someone tells you they can fly, you tell them you control air currents and that from now on they won't be allowed to use them. This would normally stimulate the brain in such a way that the patient stopped thinking they could fly. The main danger as the therapist is believing that you can control air currents. The danger of pretending you have psychokinetic abilities is that you may start believing you have them and then have them. It's the paradox of the cure. Dr. Decker loved paradoxes. His favorite was the grandfather paradox. If you can travel back in time and kill your grandfather, then you cannot be born. But if you cannot be born, then you cannot kill your grandfather. It's a time traveler's chicken and egg, if you will. Okay. I don't know if you know, but Professor Alderby used to be my professor. He teaches history and psychology, amongst other things. I know it's not technically work, but he asked if I would allow him to have the video footage of his sessions with Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker wanted to be removed from all of the videos, so it's jump cut. I have no idea. Maybe he was an undercover secret agent? <laughs> Maybe he was getting more annoying as time progressed. You're not though, you're lovely. Is this a good time to ask for a raise? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe he was an undercover secret agent? Maybe he was getting more annoying as time progressed. You're not though, you're lovely. Is this a good time to ask for a raise? Do you want a raise? Wow, <laughs> I was kidding, but thank you, Doctor. I'll take that as a yes. And don't worry, I'll sort it all out. Okay. Um...
if you couldn't see a pattern in the referral letters, there probably isn't one. It's just me. I can find a red rum in anything. If you couldn't see a pattern in the referral letters, there probably isn't one. There is one, though. It's just me. I can find a red rum in anything. Am I supposed to ask about a red rum? It's murder, spelt backwards, you know? The Shining. Ooh! All work and no play makes Dr. Decker a dull boy. It was Sorry. on the wall behind her for a hot second. Anyway. That was weird. It's a bit like an anagram. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that it's an anagram. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <laughs> See, what's the actual wording? Oh, that's fucking creepy. Oh, I hate this. Can I type in this? Oh. I can type in this. I didn't even know. Oh, I just got chills. Okay. The solicitor names are anagrams. I spotted that. Okay. All the solicitor's names are anagrams to yeah. each other. But why would someone need so many aliases to refer patients? I got a bit weirded out thinking it might be connected to Dr. Decker's murder, so I just stopped thinking. Don't get me started. Get you started on what? I don't know about that. Okay. It must be frustrating, always asking and getting nowhere. Are you frustrated, doctor? Okay, just checking. <laughs> okay. You don't quit throwing shit at me. could tell you but then i'd have to kill stop that um paper spike i suppose it's possible that somebody spiked his drink that's Most not what i asked probably knew he had a bottle in his desk wouldn't it have been that hard to empty out some capsules into it maybe the police should get fingerprints okay I'll go and suggest it. Cool. Make sure nobody touches the bottle in the meantime. Okay. Get right on that. Mariana thinks I've been coming to her house. You're getting closer all the time, but you're still not asking. Um... I don't take sleeping tablets, never have. I'm not allowed to prescribe either. Dr. Decker had me try to forge his signature once, but I was woeful. He tried to get you to forge his signature? Dr. Decker wanted me to try and forge his signature to make sure that I couldn't. He just wanted to feel safe, I guess. Once you get a prescription pad, it's your fault if it falls into the wrong hands. I suppose it does sound a bit overcautious, doesn't it? I don't know, Doctor. Do you? No, sorry. Okay. Sorry. 
some people would say Dr. Decker had a bit of a drinking problem. It got worse and then it got better when his confidence turned up. I think it was the stress of dealing with the new patients. I like the odd tipple. I've been known to drink, not as much at the moment, not as much as Dr. Decker did. He kept at least one bottle in his desk drawer at all times. You can't imagine the amount of times I wanted to sneak in and have some. No. I don't know. Sorry, I can't answer that. You're getting closer. Or what? Okay, there, there already. I already asked if someone could spike it. <laughs> definitely dabbled in that stuff. I'm not sure to what extent. Some people would say Dr. Decker had a bit of a drinking problem. It got worse and then it got better when his confidence turned up. I think it was the stress of dealing with the new patients. There's a lot of stress in here. We're dealing with people's lives. How do you relax, Doctor? I mean, I relax with food. I love food. It will be my downfall. Stress eating is the worst. It is. I relax with books. I don't know about that. You do. I relax by reading. I don't know, Doctor. Oof. I'm not gonna tell her I drink. <laughs> I relax with yoga. Interesting. But I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say that I drink. I mean, she drinks. She's not gonna. The bottle can be comforting. Um, I relax. Bye. Shopping? I could tell you, but then I'd have mm. <laughs> This is just this is just the last time I had to keep like going through all of this. Sleeping. I don't know about that. Hint. <laughs> Playing or watching a sport, okay. 
I relax by playing sports. We're gonna be a jock. Mariana thought I played hockey. Whatever that's supposed to mean. What? Hockey? I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, relax by swimming? No. Oh my god, writing. Sorry, I can't. Interesting. <laughs> I could tell you, but. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. Do you? I bet you like dance music. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, let's just check on that really quick. You're getting closer. Okay. Alex, bye. Um. Dancing. Sorry, I can't. Hint? <laughs> okay. Did Dr. Decker ever talk about his mom? Dr. Decker told me he was adopted. His birth mother only turned up five years ago because she wanted money for her experimental cancer treatment. I'm not sure how much it cost or even if he had the money, but he didn't do it. And she became one mean mother. Well, that would explain why they weren't close. getting close he said she started out with the normal passive aggressive guilt trips and then escalated into bricks through windows and cutting brake cables well he got a restraining order after that and never wanted to see her again when i visited her in hospital on his behalf do you know what her story was She told me he was never adopted. He was just very ungrateful and clearly, using her own words, had lost his mind. I say never get involved in family feuds, especially if they're not your family. Okay, so we're still dealing with the stress of new patients. <laughs> Shia, what the fuck? I relax by meditating? Interesting. And maybe this will lead into the dream discussion, actually. I relax by playing games. I love video games. I just wish they'd make ones with stronger female protagonists. Sorry, I'd settle for any female protagonists. I don't know, Doctor. Do you? could tell you, but then I don't know about that. I always get to like the end of one of these and I'm just like, okay, what am I not thinking of? No. Yeah, I would cross a line. By dating? I don't know. No? Uh, you 
you know what? I feel too weird about it. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to leave her orange, I guess. <laughs> um, or do I just say, oh, I don't know what to do. What should I do? Should I just say it and see what happens? I don't want to miss out on information. Quit throwing shit at me. <laughs> Stop it. The hint, so it was the hint. The question is what she wants to know what I do to relax. And I just typed a hint and it said, um, would it cross a line if I said that um, I use sex to relax? And like, I'm scared of crossing a line with her. But I also want to know what she's going to say. <sighs> this sucks. Why am I such a... Why are the hints making me a creep? Okay, why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> okay, well, completionist. <laughs> right, so. On that note. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and quit this before she can, like, get me again. Okay, we are 83% done. Um... I, though I haven't completed it yet, to be fair. It's interesting. It says 216 out of 218 responses found. So I wonder what I missed. And then it says, Doctor, the finish line approaches. Hopefully you know them inside out. Blech. Right. So we're going to find somebody to raid. <laughs> I wanted to know. I'm glad it wasn't more than that. Um, let's see who's on. Let's see who's on. Let's go and say hi to Hmm. It's been a minute since we said hi to Lainey. Um, although Kevin was in earlier. Might be fun to go say hi. Let's go say hi to Kevin. We'll get Lainey another time. All right, there is our raid message. So Kevin was in earlier doing a, doing a cheeky lurk. So we're gonna go say hi to him. Um, Go ahead and cue this up really quick so I have it up and open. Um, I mean, especially the way you phrased it, it wasn't propositioning or so still. I know, yeah, it was. I tried to phrase it differently, but the thing is, like, the keywords come in and they're just gonna respond however they're programmed to respond. And it's like, I'm not trying to, get, I'm not trying to do this with you. I swear. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we're gonna go say hi to Kevin. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. You take care too. And thank you guys for hanging out with me again. We should be able to possibly finish this out either next stream or in two more streams. It just depends on when the last act is. Um, but even the game screen is saying we're toward the end. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourselves and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.